I don't like horror comics. You like this one, Mr. Phoenix. It could save your life. Macaulay Culkin. The terms stage mother or stage father often possess negative and controlling connotations. No wonder you're my prized pupil. What about you, Thomas J? I hadn't started yet. Better get on his case, Veda. Unfortunately, Macaulay Culkin experienced the pressures of living with such a guardian early on. He divulged specific details in a 2020 interview with ABC News. Culkin revealed how his father, Kit, worked him relentlessly during his early years as a child actor. All night memorization sessions were the norm for the young actor. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. I'm your dad's brother, all right. You have much more hair on your nose than my dad. How nice of you to notice. I'm a kid, that's my job. Additionally, Culkin's father reportedly kept getting his son cast in more movies without asking what the young actor wanted. Macaulay Culkin eventually freed his finances from both of his parents. Eventually, his father disappeared from his life for a time after a custody battle. You have to trust me, Henry. No. No, I can't. You just want to send me away, don't you? Gary Coleman. The classic sitcom Different Strokes saw multiple young cast members grappling with personal struggles. Todd Bridges has dealt with substance use disorder, and in 1999, Dana Plato tragically died due to an overdose. The cast member whose life fell under the most scrutiny was Gary Coleman because he played the breakout character Arnold Jackson. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> While in the spotlight, he had to manage the health issues that stunted his growth and necessitated multiple kidney transplants. Coleman was arrested for assault in 1998 and also struggled financially over the years. His marriage to Shannon Price was tumultuous. Specific details about the relationship were also aired on an episode of Divorce Court. Gary Coleman tragically died from an epidural hematoma in 2010 after suffering a fall at home. Gary Coleman, who as a boy provided so much amusement, so many laughs on the hit show Different Strokes, died today in a Utah hospital. Jeanette McCurdy. Former Nickelodeon star Jeanette McCurdy was tragically forced into a difficult career situation under her mother. Well, your mom encouraged you to start acting at six, and yeah. you didn't enjoy it at all. You hated it. Yeah. Um, and I was and terrible at it. I was, I was like so stiff. I was like, jello jigglers, like I didn't know how to do any <laughs> The young actress was initially pushed into the acting profession by her mom. Allegedly, this was due to the matriarch's own dreams of fame and stardom. McCurdy told People in 2021 that she developed disordered eating issues because of her mother's obsession with weight. Additionally, the young actress was constantly monitored and wasn't even allowed to bathe without her mother. McCurdy documented her familial struggles in a stage show and book entitled, I'm Glad My Mom Died. I was telling her kind of stories of my relationship with my mom. She said, hey, what you're expressing is, is abuse. Are you aware of that? I broke down, I quit therapy that night. Through her candid works, she reported that she still may be dealing with various issues if her mother was still present in her everyday life. Amanda Bynes. The mental health struggles of actress Amanda Bynes have been made very public through news outlets over the years. Her multiple arrests, including one in 2013 for reckless endangerment and a DUI violation in 2012, were both covered extensively. After a 72-hour hospital stay and mental health evaluation, her parents filed to enter Bynes into a conservatorship. The actress would later accuse and recant allegations that her father mistreated her when she was younger. After several years out of the spotlight, Bynes started to issue public statements about her past behavior. Well, Bynes says she's been sober for almost three years now. Good for her. And as for all of those driving violations, her lawyer says she has fully complied with the conditions of her probation. She also ended her conservatorship. While she made headlines again in 2023 after another public incident, she was quick to get assistance for her mental health. Okay, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Everybody, I have something to tell you. Judith Barcy. This child star had an extremely promising career ahead of her. Frito Lay has a new flavored Lay's brand potato chip. It's called Hot Hot Hot. After being cast in a 1984 miniseries called Fatal Vision, she was consistently landing roles left and right. Barcy even voiced the memorable character Ducky in The Land Before Time. All right. I'm not a long neck. I'm a big mouth. But I am all alone. I am. Unfortunately, her life outside of Hollywood was turbulent due to her father's terrible behavior. He regularly mistreated Barcy and her mother with emotional and physical torment. The young actress started developing physical compulsions in the wake of the bad home environment. 
and in 1988, Barsi's father tragically ended the lives of the actress and her mother before taking his own. All Dogs Go to Heaven was dedicated to the young performer. All I have is a picture in my mind how it would be. Lindsay Lohan. The personal troubles in Lindsay Lohan's life began at a young age. I'm 16, and until today, I was homeschooled. I know what you're thinking. Homeschooled kids are freaks. She lived in California by herself when she was working as a teen model and actress. At the same time, her substance issues and erratic behavior were consistently in the news. Tabloids were also constantly making sure to report her social life and every gaffe. She also dealt with issues around disordered eating. Additionally, Lowen was arrested multiple times on charges that included driving under the influence and possession of an illegal substance. Now to the latest trouble for star Lindsay Lohan. She was arrested early Thursday morning here in New York, and she may now be facing new charges in California. She spent over eight years on probation for various offenses. As of 2023, the actress has only recently repaired a volatile relationship with her parents, Michael and Dina. I believe that you believe that this is your time mm -hmm. to turn this around for yourself. Lowen also received praise for her 2022 Falling for Christmas role. Drew Barrymore While Drew Barrymore has gone through a major renaissance in the 2020s that only came after a difficult upbringing. I was voracious and went after you like a crazy person wanting to have a conversation with you because mm -hmm. of the things I went through in my life and with my mom. The talented actress and personality came from an acting family. At a young age, her father, John Drew Barrymore, abandoned the family. Her early acclaim with E.T., the extraterrestrial, was followed by a childhood always in the public eye. Please don't make me do anything! Barrymore also struggled with substance use at a young age. As a result of her behavior and mental health, she was sent to rehab on multiple occasions. Despite the obstacles, Barrymore was able to continue to thrive in Hollywood. Today, she hosts her own talk show where she is beloved by her legions of fans. I am so happy to meet you. You too. It's so helpful and healing. Thank you so much for everything that you're putting out there. Judy Garland. Garland's career as a child star dates all the way back to the vaudeville era before she eventually signed a motion picture deal with MGM. Her time at the studio was tumultuous. She was subject to constant criticisms about her weight. Additionally, Garland was given various substances to get her energized for work as well as sleeping pills. The studio also let her go while she was still working through her own personal issues. Years later, Garland's ex-husband, Sid Luft, alleged that sexual harassment took place at both the studio and movie set levels, including on The Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland tragically died on June 22, 1969. Who's had the greatest influence on your career? Uh, your entire life? On my career? Yeah. MGM? <laughs> no. No, no, I would imagine so. And Vaudeville. Before that. Corey Haim. Haim was undeniably one of the most naturally gifted child actors of the 1980s. Like being a workaholic. Like being caught in the system. Both of my parents completely caught in the system. Parties and social status. That's bad. Superficial. That's terrible. Films like Lucas and The Lost Boys showcased just how great he was. Where the hell are you from? Krypton? Phoenix, actually. But lucky me, we moved. Here. While Hayne was consistently working, he also had substance use disorder. Over time, he started getting less high-profile roles due to his personal life. Hayne's decreased workload also caused him to face various financial issues as well. Multiple reports suggest that his mistreatment at a young age at the hands of an unnamed person contributed to his behaviors. Think of it more as a survival manual. There's a number on the back. And pray that you never need to call us. Sadly, these stories were still being reported on after Haim passed away in 2010. Corey Feldman Corey Feldman has been very vocal about what he claims was done to both him and Corey Haim as child actors. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling everybody's good time. He has discussed these allegations in his memoir, Choreography, as well as in a reality show titled The Two Corys and the documentary My Truth, released in 2020. Although some have questioned how accurate Feldman's accounts are, the fact that the actor dealt with various difficulties was undeniable. The last thing I wanted to do was give up that tour and go make this documentary. But 
in the end, that's what happened. He has been very open about his struggles with drugs and alcohol. Feldman was also legally emancipated from his parents when he was young due to his allegations of abusive behaviors and financial mismanagement. Hey, Chris. No hard feelings, okay? No way, man. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.